another beautiful issue of Palm Beach Illustrated is on newsstands now. It's the November issue. It's The Muses, Women of Style and Substance. And Daphne Nicolopoulos, the editor of Palm Beach Illustrated, stopped by the studio this morning to uh, talk about it. Good morning, Daphne. Good morning. Uh, nice issue. It's a beautiful issue as always. What I, is a muse, though? Yes, that's our big, first question. <laughs> what, what's a muse? I get asked that a lot. Yeah, I'm it's, sure it's the do. muses issue. What exactly <laughs> defines a muse? Well, you know, in uh, Greek mythology, the muses used to inspire artists and poets and what have you. And so these women are uh, ladies who inspire on so many levels. And so the way we actually choose them is based on their accomplishments, mm -hmm. both personal and professional, and on their involvement in the community. And obviously they're uh, very social and very well connected as well. And everybody knows them and they're beautiful inside and out. Inside and out. That's, exactly. That's very important. Exactly. They, they, if you look at the cover, the four women um, who you've chosen this year are absolutely beautiful. But then when you read about them, you find out that they are very committed to giving back to the community. And who were the four women that you selected this year? Oh, we have Mary Freitas, mm -hmm. Tiffany Cloutier, Darcy Glazer Kasowitz, and Tracy Smith. Now, how many years have you been doing this Muse issue? This is the third year. And how, how do you pick them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How, how does that? Yeah, I'm sure like everybody one of those trade them. secrets. Do you throw a dart and I land it on Tracy? <laughs> do they the darts at the social pages? Oh, this one looks good. Yeah. Do they campaign for it? Do they kind of say, "Hey, Daphne, let me take you to lunch. Yeah. I'll take you to meet you." For lunch. Once in a while, I get some of that. Yeah. You know? Do you accept bribes? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> this is why Daphne's living oceanfront, right? <laughs> Daphne's been dressing a lot better lately. Just yeah. No, I'm just, of course, we're just kidding. Now, yes. after the issue comes out, is there always a Kanye West type person that comes up like, Beyonce deserves this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Somebody would say, now, Darcy, uh, you're, you're a great muse. I'm going to let you uh, finish in just a second, but uh, so and so is a much better. Muse. No, She's really the best muse in the world. I, I can tell you, we were fortunate enough to go to the party that Palm Beach Illustrated had uh, yeah. celebrating the muse issue, and there was none of that oh, happening. Okay. Everybody was very <laughs> gracious. It's very classy. Uh, all right, let's, let's move on to uh, blues legend B.B. King is going to have a restaurant opening in City Place and, um, on page 31 of uh, Palm Beach Illustrated. You did your three questions mm -hmm. with B.B. Yes, King. Um, 84 years old. And still touring. And still Do you believe it? It's amazing. Yeah. 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 This guy, is, um, he's, he's superhuman. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know when his restaurant in City Place is going to open? Well, we're being told it's going to be in November around Thanksgiving. So, right. you know, obviously it's a wait and see situation, okay. but that's that's what um, they're saying. And le where legal seafood used to yeah, be. Yeah, that's what yeah. I was going to ask. I, think, yeah, I, yeah, I can't yeah. wait. It's a great location. It's yeah. so it's much fun so in New fun. York. Yeah. <laughs> and finally, uh, Okay, I, I always screw his last name up, but uh, the polo player that all the ladies go nuts over. Hot, hot, hot. Nacho? I get that right because <laughs> like I like nacho cheese. Yeah. You like nachos. Yeah. <laughs> nacho, so how do you say his last name? Figueras. Oh, you say that much better than we do. Yeah, it sounds a lot sexier <laughs> well, uh, when yes, you say it. He, he is the polo sensation. He'll be playing at the International Polo Club in Wellington. Uh, he's been on Oprah. He's voted like the second most beautiful man in the world. On the back page there, last page of Palm Beach Illustrated 152, you uh, find out a little bit about what he likes and where yes. he likes to travel, listen mm -hmm. to. His favorite clone, of course, is, is Paul. Paul. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> no, it's not like he's going to say uh, Brute or Stetson. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> yeah. Ronnie. Do they still make Old that spice? <laughs> Old spice. He is. Yeah. He's a nice piece of man candy. Yeah, yeah. He now, really is. Daphne was telling me before we went on that you've actually met his wife. Oh yeah, absolutely. Both of them have come to our events, mm -hmm. and uh, you know they've been in Wellington for quite some time. Because of course she plays polo out there, and so they're here for the winter, mm -hmm. and um, and they do get involved socially. Yeah. They're they're great, both of them. They're great people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're good looking and great. Hate them both. <laughs> <laughs> Take them and the muses. Yeah. <laughs> well, fantastic job. Yeah. Another great issue of Palm Beach Illustrated. Thank uh, you. Pick up one today. It's on the newsstands uh, or just subscribe. That's what we do. You know, go to palmbeachillustrated.com and sign up to get the, uh, the magazine monthly. Thanks, Daphne, for being on the show. Thank you for having me.